I haven't watched many rampages lately, <coughs> and I have not heard this phrase in a long time. But considering what the last segment for us to talk about, match slash segment, all that stuff, how good it was, how much we enjoyed it. Could you please, sir, give me a Mark Henry impersonation? It's time for the main event. <laughs> We're Strickland, AR Fox versus Nick Wayne. Hold on. Nick fucking Wayne and Darby <laughs> Allen. You know what? I'm not big on Darby, but oh my God, this match was so good. Yeah, yeah this was an incredible match, though. We started off on fire that that spider German off in the corner by uh, AR Fox, dog. He folded Nick Wayne in half. That was nasty. Yeah. That was gross. Person don't I have, and I mean, you're at this match all the way. Like, it kind of felt like it was going to be good because it was good right from the beginning. So you're you're getting to the end. You think you're at the end. You're like, all right, makes sense to end it here. It's been a really good match. And it would not end. There's so yeah, much. I liked when it went out into the crowd and picture and picture and swerve grabs somebody's phone and he's making selfie videos. And then he hands the phone to Prince Nana and he's <laughs> doing whatever he does. Or even when they first got outside the ring, Air Fox pulled off his hoodie and he's still wearing, or I shouldn't say still, but he's once again wearing the bloody tank top from when they busted up Nick Wayne at his house. And he takes that off too and throws it at. Nick Wayne's mom at ringside. We're going to come back to so much Nick Wayne and Nick Wayne's family. Yeah. He's like, here's your son. Here's your son's blood. Enjoy it. Every time they focus on her, obviously it's when he's getting the crap kicked out of him. And she's always like, please, please stop it. Like, if your husband was a wrestler and your son's a wrestler... You shouldn't be begging for his life, basically. You should just know it comes with the territory. Yeah. You should. Um, I, I don't even know how what to talk about in this match. Like, everybody in this match did something crazy. Darby just diving everywhere. Mm -hmm. They back when to he back. dove in the swerve into the announce table. That was a... For two smaller guys, that was a, a nice impact there. It was like two missiles, two rockets. <laughs> one got hit but really hard and the other one went well flying. The <laughs> um, You talk about diving all over early in the match. Nick Wayne, while they're all battling on the outside, does a run along the apron, does a double Wayne's World to swerve an AR Fox on the floor, and then Darby's on the other turnbuckle and does a coffin drop on both of them outside. Dude's going crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, this was nuts. The only person that wasn't diving was Swerve, but I mean, he's put on weight, so he's he's not planning on doing any diving. Yeah, when he first started bulking <laughs> up, I'm like, yeah, come on, please tell us you're getting ready for a nice big run. Mm -hmm. Still waiting for that first championship, though. We're waiting on it. It's coming. It better be. I think it will be. Shit. That uh, that neck breaker ish thing, the power the, bomb, the double team, yeah, that power bomb neck breaker that Swerve and AR Fox hit on Nick Wayne. I just nod my head so much to that move, my desk shook and the camera shook. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't, I'm like, what was that? But holy shit, Nick Wayne inside the ring, he went to do a jump off the turnbuckle to do a Wayne's World to AR Fox, but like Swerve ran underneath him, caught him, power bomb, and uh, yeah, AR Fox was able to catch a neck breaker on it too. That looked yeah. nasty as fuck as well. Yeah, man. And you'll hear from my us. Next note. As this match kicks ass <laughs> <laughs> and the thing like that last spot with it having a power bomb it you'll hear it from us like if it's a weak look at power bomb we'll call out a weak look at power bomb because we've talked about it a good look at power bomb still money 
Oh yeah, yeah. If your power bomb looks good, you can still finish with that. There's just not that many that look that great. Right. So nobody's doing power bombs anymore. <clears throat> the catch this blue thunder bomb is beautiful. It looks great. It's the best two count spot <laughs> out there. It's so great. For your match, your next note for this match is this match kicks ass. My next note for this match is Nick Wayne is kicking out of everything. He kicked out of so much. That series of brain busters, they are the, like he did the twisting brain buster and then the package brain buster. Twisting as well. Like both of them look so damn good. Yeah. I thought it was over on both those spots. Yeah, he kicks out of those, then Swerve hits that kick to the back of the head. He kicks out of that one. Swerve <sighs> is freaking out at this point because he does a really good, like, reaction to, like, what the fuck, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's when it all goes downhill. Fox misses a 450. Swerve is just taunting at this time. Assuming this match is over. Yeah. Because he's like, come on. He's got this. Right. You know, I will have to give credit for it because after he misses the 450, we have seen some innovative pins that I had never seen before AEW, right? Like, um, mm -hmm. both Wheeler and Orange Cassidy have one that I had never seen before AEW. However, Nick Wayne pinned AR Fox after that miss 450 and then the bridge was I something I had not seen. That. It was a pin. <laughs> that's that's all I know is that it was some kind of pin. Now I love One it. Because uh Swerve is like grasping for straws, but Darby's like holding his foot just as it happens. Yeah. yeah, Darby's got just a strong enough hold on his ankle to stop him from getting there. And Nick Wayne and Darby get that win. Nick Wayne getting that pin on Dynamite. Now make no mistake, he definitely pinned AR Fox. Yeah. Which is a big oh, point after the match. Yeah. Yes. You can't have Swerve take a metal pin at any time <laughs> soon. And Swerve was kind of harsh after after the match. Hey, he ain't cutting it. He ain't cutting it. Swerve's got that maniacal laugh going. Exact uh, word I used in my notes. Yeah, because he looks, he has, a, he has that whole, he has a good thing going where his hair covers his eyes when he's doing it. So all you can kind of see is the smile coming out from underneath his, his, his hair. And then you just hear him laughing. You're like, ah, oh, shit. Just basically says it this has been disappointing and then he says he means you fox close opportunity after opportunity why is he such a loser he beat an 18 year old it was a test for him says he can't trust him and then he tells nana to take care of his light work and i was like isn't is nana about to get physical <laughs> i i was hoping so I didn't know what to expect. But he did his best Vince McMahon impersonation, though. He tells AR Fox, you're fired. You're fired. Yeah, I have to put way too much effort in to get that raspy voice, like, you're yell. Fired. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's out. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately laid out by Brian Cage. And this is where it got kind of weird. As they were leaving, you know, Sting, Darby, and Nick all come back down to stop it. Uh, Darby helps up Fox, gives him a hug, and he says, if he's not an AR Fox, then who do you got then? I thought this was so weird because it was so dismissive of Brian Cage standing right next to Swerve. <laughs> like, who do you got? Yeah. That guy? Well, I mean... It was, but that whole time I was like, well, it's not Brian Cage, because, come on, 
<laughs> it couldn't be. You don't it was replace just replace AR Fox with Brian Cage. Yeah. If, if that's who the replacement is, it's going to be after All In or something. Yeah. We don't get any music, but slowly, like, they kind of part the sea, and we see Luchasaurus and Christian Cage coming out to the ring, like, to the ramp yeah. alongside of them, and you're already kind of, like, if this was Spider-Sense, it's tingling, you perk up, you're waiting for it. Like, come on. Like, he's, like, we've been calling for it. We knew he had to do it. There's a new person in AEW with a dead dad. And Christian went straight for it. It's literally the last one I know on the segment says Christian and Luchasaurus come out and he goes right after Dick Quain on the mic. Yeah. Like he basically just like lets him know that it's him. He's like, yeah, Darby, I'm here. But that kid over there, his dad's dead. <laughs> I got to address that right now. You know, I'm the dead dad guy. Uh, he goes right in for it and the whole time we're just <laughs> dying um and then he starts talking about like so you're second generation but i've never heard of your dad so you must have not been any good and just going off just basically offering says you play your cards right i'll be your mentor yeah he's like and you know how i'm a great mentor <laughs> for kids with dead dads <laughs> Who better than the oh. TNT champion? No one. Who isn't the champion? champion. <laughs> no, he's the TNT champion. He's the talking about dead dad's champion. But honestly, if you are watching this after, I need you to go back. If you know about Christian Cage's history of pe people with dead dads, go watch it. It was so bad. It was so on the nose. You're waiting for it. It's like the moment of yeah. when you get exactly what you want and it's just pure joy yeah because yeah it's, as soon as nick wayne debuts and they got all the videos of him and you know how he's doing this for his dad and all this stuff and you're like i think on at nick wayne's debut we mentioned it right away we're like oh christian's gonna have so much fun with this <laughs> as soon as dead somebody with a dead father is mentioned the memes of Christian Cage like peeking up from ringside are all over the place. I'm like, yes, yes, it's happening. It's, it's like happening. it's me. <laughs> I'm somewhat of a specialist on this topic. I just really wanted him to say something directly to his mom who was at ringside. Yeah, I forgot he mentioned his mom, but he didn't he didn't speak to her directly. Because, remember, like, his first feud of somebody with it? Like, he went to the mom, he's like, call me. <laughs> Jungle Boy. Yep, it was Jungle Boy. But yeah, so we get it confirmed that it'll be Christian and Swerve versus Darby and Sting. Ooh. Which... So, go ahead. In which, uh... I kind of, kind of think we might get a Sting and Darby loss, finally. So, people have wondered, like, would this be a good way for Sting to retire? Mm -hmm. Like, biggest, like, such a huge event. But in addition to that, why well, went, ooh, as you were bringing that up, I forgot there's a really good, harsh Christian line right at the end of all this, where he says, and that all in... For the second time, you can watch the cast and close on somebody that you looked up to. <laughs> yep. Uh, I forgot about that line. That line was the perfect line to end it. He has had so many lines that you're like, I can't believe they like they let that line happen on TV. 